Section 2.8 is about solving linear inequalities. Uh, that's what today's lecture is about. So let's go ahead and get started with some of the things that we should already be familiar with. And that's going to be some of the notation that we're going to see. Remember, these are the symbols that we see associated with inequalities. Okay. Uh, this first one, of course, just means less than. The next one is greater than. I'm sure that we've already seen these guys before. Uh, just make sure that you look over them and that you are familiar with which way they're pointing and what their meaning is. Uh, this next one is less than or equal to. What you're going to notice here is that it has this extra little mark on it right here. And it's this piece right here that gives us the or equal to part. Uh, much the same as the next symbol has that little extra piece right there. And that's going to mean, you guessed, uh, greater than or equal to. Okay, and again, this little symbol right here is what gives us the or equal to part. Now, there are a lot of similarities uh, that we can find with or between inequalities and equations. Uh, the first one we want to look at is just an example of what an inequality looks like. Uh, here's an example of just a basic linear inequality. Okay, If I have this, if I say x is greater than 5, okay, this is an inequality. x is greater than 5. Now, when we have these I guess these expressions, these uh, inequalities that have variables, remember you're trying to find solutions. Now the definition of a solution here is the same as what it was uh, whenever we were solving equations from before, uh, namely this. A solution is any replacement A solution is any replacement of the variable a solution is any replacement of the variable that makes the inequality true. Okay, so a solution is any replacement of the variable that makes the inequality true. And we'll just pretend I didn't misspell that word. Okay. So if I'm looking at the inequality x is greater than 5, I'm sure you can tell me an example of a solution for this inequality. And I bet the first thing you come up with is 6. Well, yes, naturally 6 is going to be a solution. You see that 6, if you plug it in here, 6 is greater than 5. Is that true? Yes, it's true. So that's going to be a solution. Well, how about another one? Let me guess, you're going to say 7. Well, you'd be right. 7, of course, is greater than 5, and that's also going to be true. But don't forget that we don't just have to stick with integer values. Uh, we could even say something like this, 5.02. And wouldn't you agree that 5.02 is greater than 5? And I hope that you would all agree that yes, uh, that is still greater than 5. Well, the real question comes down to this. How many solutions are there? Well, there are an infinite number of solutions for a lot of inequalities that we're going to run across. There will be an infinite number of solutions. Now, what that means for us is that there, well, there's no limit to the number of solutions that we have. Um, since we can't list all of them, we have to have another way or a better way of expressing these solutions.